Hi, it's David from DP Computing. This time we're here with a QNAP NAS. This is a TS212P. Just going to show you how to open it up and remove the internal hard drives and put them back in again. So, as you can see, this is the front of the unit. What we need to do is actually there's two screws at the back. So we've got the back of the unit here and you can see there's two screws, one and two. I've removed them already just to speed up the process. Once they're removed, um, just slide the unit on this side and then push forward and the top bit comes out. And there you can see there's two hard drives. I've actually slightly removed some of the screws, but the screws themselves, there's four on each side. So you've got um, one, two, three, four, and then another four on the other side. So there's another four, one, two, three, four. And you've also got some connectors here the uh, SATA connector and then the power connector. So just remove those two plugs. So just pull them out and pull them out. And then you can remove them totally if you want. There's the other end there. But we'll just remove all the screws here. So this unit is, as you can see, takes two external, or two internal hard drives, has two bays here, so you can just run normal RAID 0, RAID 1 on this unit. And as you can probably notice, I've got the Western Digital Reds in, which are NAS, or perfect just for the NAS drives, because that's what they're designed for. Yeah, nearly done. As with always, the drives, or the screws I should say, just take a little bit to come out. Yeah, should better grab that one. Now, the top hard drive, if we remove the connectors at the back here, should just come out nicely. And the bottom drive is actually you just have to slide it out and when I remove it you'll see there's a connector here so they're actually onto the main board or the main board itself for the NAS drive uh, to plug new ones in just put up oh, before I do that we've got the fan here and if you want to remove that there's four screws here on the outside so you got one two three four remove those screws and then you can remove the fan the fan itself is then plugged in down here to a power connector so just unplug that and you can swap the fan out so to put it back again you've got the bottom drive just slide that in so it's under the little lips here and then slide it back so it goes into the attachments or the connectors here at the back so that just slides in and then the top one again just goes into the top they just screw in either side and then we've got the plugs they just plug into the back of the, the hard drives there and then once they're done you can just top, pop the lid back on and then um, screw the two screws in at the back so it's fairly straightforward um, if you have any questions please leave a comment below thank you